Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boydston Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make a cajon. Let's get into it. The box drum, or properly known as the cajon, it's pronounced cajoning. Definitely not that. It's a project that I've been wanting to tackle for quite some time now. It is a really popular project, and I have watched a mountain of videos, and I have finally nailed down a direction that I want to go with mine. To build my cajon, I picked up a cheap sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood and used my Craig AccuCut to break it down into more manageable sizes. Then I moved over to the table saw to cut the pieces into their final dimensions. The typical dimensions of a cajon are 12 inches deep by 12 inches wide by 18 inches high. I'm going to keep that as my baseline, but I don't mind going outside of the perimeters just a little bit. The two side panels will be 12 inches by 18 inches. The back panel will be 11 and a quarter inches by 18 inches, and the top and bottom pieces will be 12 inch squares. I cut a rabbit on one side of each of the side pieces and three sides of the top and bottom pieces. I cut a four inch hole in the back panel about six inches from the top and then use my palm router to put a round over on both sides of the hole. I wanted to add a snare to my cajon so I clamped the two side pieces and used a 1 and 3 8 inch Forstner bit to drill a hole all the way through the first piece and about halfway through the second piece. These holes will hold the dowel that will control the snare. Then I cut a 3 inch square piece of the plywood, drilled out the center with the same Forstner bit and attached it to the side panel lining it up over the hole that I had only drilled halfway through. I used Titebond 2 for the assembly. I didn't plan on using any fasteners because the combination of the glue and the rabbit joints should be enough. Only time will tell, my friends. And this is the part where I stood in front of the camera for like 10 minutes. Once the glue was dry, I used a large round over bit and went over all the corners except for the front face. Little disclaimer, I forgot to push the record button when I actually did it, so enjoy this little recreation. Then I used wood putty to fill any voids in the plywood. And sanded it smooth. Then it was time to move on to the snare mechanism. I rummaged up a piece of hardwood, cherry I think. We don't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. 
I drilled a one and quarter inch hole halfway through the center and then three eighths inch holes around the perimeter. Then I cut it out on the bandsaw to create a star knob. I could have just bought one, but I thought making one myself would be a lot of fun. I used some flap sander bits in my drill press to smooth out the knob. I'll make sure to leave a link for them in the description below. To make the snare adjustable, I started by drilling a hole to fit a bolt with a star knob head and drilling out the end of the dowel to fit a threaded insert. This will be used to tighten the dowel in place. Then I glued my handmade star knob on the other end of the dowel. This will be used to adjust the position of the snare. I put a quarter inch dowel through the large dowel because I wanted some stops to keep the snare from rotating too far out of place. The snare I purchased comes in one long piece, so I just cut it in half. I'll leave a link to the snare I used in the description below. Once the snares were attached, I could gauge where I wanted to put some screws as stopping points. I used some 1 8 inch plywood for the front face. I cut it a little large and put a few screws in it to hold it in place and then sanded it down flush with the body. After disassembling the cajon, I put a gray stain on the body and then used some lacquer on the front face and the body. Alright, our cajon is finished. Let me go over a few things real quick. A lot of people tend to use Luon for the face of their cajon. That's because it is really easy to find at local hardware stores and it's really cheap, but it's a quarter inch thick. This material right here is an eighth inch thick and I think it makes a really big difference. It resounds much better. As far as the snare goes, I guess it works pretty well. I can hear the difference. I don't really care for that sound. I hear that a lot of drummers do, so I guess to each his own. If you listen real carefully, you can hear the sound difference. Here it is with the snare. And here it is without the snare. It's a lot cleaner and crisper without that snare, and that's the sound that I prefer, but I'm not a drummer, so... Now, as far as the front face goes, from what I've read online, you are not supposed to permanently attach the front face. You're supposed to just screw it in with screws that can be loosened and tightened to change the tone of the instrument. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with this, but that's how I made mine, so that they can be loosened and tightened for the taste of whoever may be playing it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to... Hey, what's going yeah. on? Just gonna play my cajon. Okay. Hey! We put out a new video every heck, week, man, so make sure come to. Come on! Are you kidding me right now? I was having. We put out a new video every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let me know in the comments below what you thought of this project. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.